Chapter three. How much can you carry? Why can't I just carry this bag? While I can carry this one with just two fingers. See that horse there, Priya? Isn't he struggling to carry that load of big stones on his back? Can you say why? Because it's very heavy. Wouldn't he prefer carrying feathers? That would be a lot lighter and easier for him to carry, right? It's the same with you. Your brown bag is much heavier than the blue one. Now let's see some examples of heavy and light objects. Some of the heavy objects are bricks, logs, bag of coins, an axe, cotton, flowers, feathers, and wool are some of the light objects. Seesaw. Let me draw an example of a bundle of logs and a single brick on a seesaw. What happens when there are objects of different weights on a seesaw? This side with logs drops down. Can you say why? You're correct. The bundle of logs is heavier than the brick, so the heavy side drops down, and the light side lifts up. So what if I have a bunch of flowers on one side? And a bag of coins on the other side. Which side do you think will go up? The lighter side, the side with a bunch of flowers, will go up. The heavier side, which is the bag of coins, will go down. Let me give you one last example. What if I have a thousand coins on each side of the seesaw? What happens? Both sides have the same weight or the same quantity of objects. Therefore, the seesaw will be balanced and straight, like this. A grocer's weighing scale is used to measure objects in weights. You would have seen this at the markets. The next time you go, observe how they use it to weigh objects. Well, have fun observing. See you later. Bye bye.